All right, let's spice it up. I'm Black Irish. You should already know me by now. Let's get some videos going. We got the Cardi back. We're doing it today. Let's uh, see what these women got to say. Bad boys drive women absolutely crazy. We hate to love them. We know they're bad for us, but we can't help ourselves. Do you know what all women secretly wish for? A nice guy who can make us feel the way bad boys make us feel. Whoa, 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 whoa. Hold on a second. Wait, 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 wait. I'm sorry, what did you just say? You secretly want the bad boys that way? O-M-G. Can we hear that again? Sandra, can you play it one more time, please? Bad boys drive women absolutely crazy. We hate to love them. We know they're bad for us, but we can't help ourselves. Do you know what all women secretly wish for? A nice guy who can make us feel the way bad boys make us feel. And this is why I say women are immature. Let's keep it real. You want a nice guy that takes care of you, opens doors for you, treats you like his one and only, but you want that whole thing that gives you attention, that gives you that sexual drive. You want the things that whoo, get you all turned up inside. You're not happy. You're just never going to be happy. So it's not a secret. Every man in 2023 knows this already. It's not a secret. The nice guy can go out and do all the nice things and get it wrong with the, as far as you're concerned. But he, for some reason, gets it right when you're old, wrinkled, used up, and you got like a bunch of credit cards with legs running around. Then all of a sudden, they're fine. But the problem is, when you're young, you want that fast thing. You want that thing that's going thing, that, that thing that gets you feeling a little... Moist in between you, you know what? All of a sudden, now it's just like, oh, you know, I, I, I don't want to do that anymore. I, I want to settle. Like, no, we know what settle means. Settle means settle. You are wanting to accept less and give less. When the honest truth is, you're actually giving less and accepting more than you actually deserve. But thank you for telling what men have already figured out. Thanks to the man cave and thanks to Red Pill. When they're like, oh, I'm here for you, I'm a safe space for you. I feel like they're trying too hard to be the savior for me when I feel like they need to meet me halfway. What you so, okay. What you just said, in other words, is, hey, I don't like this safe space because what I'm used to is chaos. Does that make sense? <laughs> you can either... Oh, look at that. She knows it. It has nothing, and I mean absolutely nothing to do with what he's doing. It's just that you're not designed. You ain't built for this. That's not you, honey. You are built for all the destruction that you deserve. I'm going to play it again. When they're like, oh, I'm here for you. I'm a safe space for you. I feel like they're trying too hard to be the savior for me. And see, that's the problem. There are broken women who are broken by choice. They know. They know that what they're doing, what they're, who they're choosing to be with is destructive. They don't care. That's the problem. These men who are going out here trying to, like, fix these women, it's insane. It's for the birds. You can't fix them. They're destroyed. But I say leave them for practice. Let them be destroyed. Except the only thing I say is learn what type of woman you're dealing with. If she's like this, well, then you got to just have fun with it because there's no fixing her. She's going to look for a savior in the end. You don't want to deal with that. And I feel like they need to meet me halfway. What you just said, in other words, is, hey, I don't like this safe space because what I'm used to is chaos. Does that make sense? <laughs> you can either live on one side of the river, which is I will just make sure this person has this gap between us just in case I, like, lose them. Or you can cross the f***ing river and actually get to the pot of gold, right, and actually experience what real love and being safe is like. That doesn't matter. It doesn't matter to them. Once they go down that route, 9 out of 10, the chances are they're done. 
you can't sit here and try to pretend that there's like some way they're just going to realize it. This isn't some Hallmark channel. This isn't the Lifetime channel. They're going to just be miserable. It's not like they're just victims. They chose the same douchebags every single time. That The turn on and the thrill is more important than being in an actual relationship. But they mature faster than men, right? Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. Isn't it funny how things work? They always say the same thing. Oh, you know, it's the thrill. It's the thrill. But, you know, we have our phases. Y'all are so damn backwards. Um, and here's a secret that many guys don't know, especially in today's day and age, is that women love nice guys. <laughs> we may not understand how much we love and appreciate them until we're a little older. Um, and we've gotten... Whoa! Say it again. Sandra, replay that. How much we love and appreciate them until we're a little older um and we've gotten that sort of asshole phase no go a little bit further back i'm sorry love nice guys <laughs> we may not understand how much we love and appreciate them how do you not understand you're an adult like let's just keep it real i mean she's red pilling the hell out of herself which is great but just keep listening until we're a little older um and we've gotten that sort of asshole phase out of our systems asshole phase translation i need to get ran through have a good time feel good don't think about the future then hit 40 oh i need to get laid up i need to find some sucker i'm sorry i need to find a nice guy i'm sorry i i should have said nice guy uh I'd say by our late 20s, early early 30s. Let's try to say near late 30s, early 40s. Let's stop playing games. Is, is uh, the point in our lives when we're just exhausted by the jerks and we have no time in our lives. Those gangbangs, man. They take a toll on you. Whew. Now listen, that's a lot of sausage to be handling in one top. You know what I'm saying? Listen, I get it. You want to have your fun, do all the good stuff, and... No one told you it was wrong until someone realized it was wrong, and then all of a sudden, now all of a sudden, you just like, oh, I can't do this anymore. Uh huh. Lives anymore for them. So we really start looking for men who uh, we know will be great long-term partners, aka nice guys, right? And that's you. And that's you. Um, and here's a secret. I'm sorry. That's called being a sucker. That's what they really want. They're gonna need you suckers to pay all the children bills. Got the little kids with the credit cards walking around, taking, make, breaking stuff, eating your food. That's what they want. They want you to be the settle man. They want you to fix their problems, man. They want you to do everything that the Pookie and the Chad didn't want to do, man. They want you to make them feel safe. They want to feel secure. They want a safety blanket. It's this. Listen. If you somehow manage to end up with one of these type of women, I'm going to tell you this. You tell her, I'm settling for you. So this is what you need to do. Stay in shape. I don't care how many kids you had, and I don't give a crap, because the, you tore up that body for the dude that you that didn't want you, but was okay with placing his seed inside of you. Or let me rephrase that. You took his seed. Number two. If you're a sexually active man, obviously, sex is many times as you want when you want it. No questions asked. None of this. Oh, I don't know. I don't do it these days. And I'm talking about everything you can think of. Every every kar karma sutra position you can think of. I don't want to hear nothing. She's got to cook. she got to cook and clean. Make sure your house is home. You want that to be your home. If it's not, out the door. These women are crazy. Like, they want to come up in here and they still act as if, oh, I'm too good for you. Okay. She belongs to the streets. Teen analysis of 12,775 individuals found that kind, helpful men. Go watch that entire video. It's short. Um, but yeah, as it turns out, like women have been saying all along, women are attracted 
to kindness and generosity in men. Okay, so before I even go any further, because I watched the video, and I would suggest you watch the video. She's full of crap. See, women never tell you the truth. They're not looking for the average Joe good guy. They want the top 10% or the bottom feeding guys. So you got the Chads and the Tyrones, and then you got the Pookies and Ray Rays right below that. They're not looking for the dudes in between, that large portion of refugees who are sitting there. They're not looking for you. They're looking for everything else but you. You are the settle guy. I know guys are just like, let me fix my collar. No, dude, they don't give a crap about you. I'm just going to, I'm jumping the gun, but I'm going to tell you right now, it's not you. It's the guys they desire. They like you to be the nice guy because they want to keep you strung along long enough to get what they want from you and then do whatever the hell they want. What men don't realize is that women can suss out the difference in genuine kindness and performative niceness like that. See, the problem is, no, you can't. Why is it that you have TikTok? TikTok is is as popular as it is because the pookies and rays that lie to you get into the box faster than anything else. That's a, that's a, come on, stop lying. You are lying to everybody. Men watch TikTok. They're not stupid. They know it. You give up the panties to the Pookies and Ray Rays and without question the Chads. We know this. Why are you acting as, oh, we, we, we can sniff it. No, you can't. You can sniff out the guy who's not attractive. That's what you can do. Who's trying to be nice, but you take it as him being a creep. Him being nice and not being attractive makes him a creep. Him being good looking and being nice, well, that just checks all your boxes. But then he uses you. Y'all all stupid. And do you know why we can do that? Because our- Let me guess. Woman intuition? Our life often depends on it. So- <laughs> Holy shit. <laughs> oh my gosh she really thought she says something philosophical performative niceness and kindness may look to men to be the same thing because they have not had to get intimate in studying that distinction but just because you can't see it doesn't mean that we can't see it first of all you got a ring nose a nose ring i'm sorry so that just says what type of woman you are number two you're an idiot I just want to make sure we're all on the same page. Men know it. It's you women that don't. You don't see thousands of videos of women men saying, oh, I don't see the difference. No, it's you women. Because y'all fall for the same type of dude. They all have the same type of look. Stop acting as if like you're above, like you're like, you know, spent seven years in Tibet and found enlightenment or something. No, it doesn't work that way. You're just an idiot. So while we are viscerally attracted to kind and generous men, we might be repulsed by performative niceness, which often is a form of manipulation. No, it's not. You're just an idiot. You don't see it. That's the problem. You do not see it. You refuse to see it. You can't see it because you don't want to see it. Like I said before, if you don't see it from the Pookies and Ray Rays, then you're not going to see it. You only see it from men who are not attractive because your guard is already up. When your guard is down, that's because you found someone that gets your regions very moist. Y'all need to stop pretending like we don't watch it. You have thousands of videos. It's like the stupid video of the, oh, where have all the good men gone? They're gone. They don't want anything to do with you. They're married. Or they wised up and now they use you. Or the good guys who realize being a good guy doesn't get you anywhere, so they become the douchebag. They become the douchebag that you find attractive. So why would he stay good when he knows you're not worth it? No, baby, no. You ain't worth it, honey. It doesn't work like that. And the problem is a lot of you just don't seem to figure that out. So you wash, rinse, repeat. I'll say it again. Wash, rinse, repeat. Simple as that.
I just wanted to end the show like that, you know, make people laugh. <laughs>